my baby the apple of my eye i remember the day she was born i was there at the time she she was born a chubby little girl she ain't no chubby now a chubby little girl <clears throat> i can visualize her face those bright eyes the midwife first gave her to me to hold but this me never the one to be lost for words and i'm in awe speechless tears of joy i'm looking at this beautiful angel my daughter and and there's lots of things that you can work towards in life like you can aim at a target and you can you know take small steps big steps and get towards being that person and honestly everything that she's worked towards she's got but there's no way to kind of gamify that and make it a reality when it comes to finding the love of your life wesley came into her life not because she worked to find wesley but because she deserved to find him but as long as i've conveyed how much uh, i love this couple how grateful i am to my little sister for all that she's accomplished and looking at things with a really broad view i know that this is just the beginning i hope that not only can they flourish and succeed and move forward in their lives but sincerely i hope that for as much time as possible all of us in this room can enjoy that and celebrate that together and be with each other and love each other and celebrate and drink and dance because this is all that we have is just these memories wes i need your right hand on top of us can everyone get a very good look at this because this is the last time that Wesley will ever have the upper hand in this marriage. <laughs> Sonal, you look absolutely gorgeous today. I sometimes, yes, yes she does. <laughs> I sometimes still wonder how and why and for what reason I've been so lucky to find you. And that even after finding you, how utterly improbable it is that a six-foot-something tall guy from the Cape Flats who loves being indoor and being on his laptop would find his counterpart and best friend in a five-foot-something girl from Earlham, Manchester, who's artistic and creative and loves being around lots of people and being outdoors. And yet for all the cosmetic differences, for the polar opposite life experiences we've had, I don't think I could ever have asked for or conceived of someone as extraordinary as you. Here we are today, witnessing the true eternal bond of marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise our glasses to congratulate and bless the lovely couple to my sweetheart, Sono, and my new son, Wesley.